Hey guys, Ruth from Scenic City Bootcamp here and Rachel from Scenic City Bootcamp. Um, today uh, we're just going to be going over some exercises that you can do at home. Uh, today I just walked around the gym, picked up a bunch of stuff that we just have laying around that isn't fitness equipment. And we're just going to be showing you uh, some moves that you can do at home with those types of equipment. You may have more stuff at home that you can find, um, but this is just some general ideas of stuff you may just have laying around uh, to work out at home. So Rachel's going to show you a couple of different things that you can do with just some rags and like your slick kitchen floor or something like that. Or even if you have hardwood floor, she should work on that as well. So I'm going to let her take over from here. All right. Just kind of hitting some core, you guys, coming from that modified drop knee plank position. So one of the first ones that we can start with is what we like to call around here a butterfly push-up. So you get that ab roll out, recreation. Slide all the way down nice and low, you guys, keeping your body all together. Circle out, tuck in on the sides, tricep push up it out. One more time, slide out in front, circle out, and tricep push up it out. And that slides pretty easily, you guys, just with these cloths, but you can also use paper towels. You can put socks in your hands, something like that, just something that can glide over a flat, kind of shiny surface. Another one that you can do, you guys, from that drop modified knee as well, is your um, slide out push ups. So you can slide out one arm, keep the other arm back and engaged, and push up from there and alternate one at a time. Just a way to kind of switch up again, combining those ab roll outs with those different types of push ups from the ground. Taking the up top though, different things that we can do, we can use our little slider for our reverse lunges, sliding back right here, keeping that nice lunge position. Again, just kind of challenging that lunge just a little bit differently. We can also take it from the side into a lateral lunge. So sliding away from the body, you guys, keeping it nice and stable on that standing leg without the slider on it, okay? So just a couple of things we can do with that, legs, and a little bit of that upper body with those sliders. And, and just something else I wanna mention, guys, is just because we don't show you that you can do it in this video doesn't mean you can't so, do it at home. So use your imagination, guys. I'm sure we've done other stuff in here with valve slides. Um, this is pretty much re recreating that. So if you can think of anything at home, with any of this equipment we're gonna show you today, feel free to use it in however way that you can uh, think to use it. So if you guys wanna follow us, we're, uh, we've collected a bunch of other stuff other than just that. Um, so we just got like, again guys, I just walked around the gym today and picked up what I knew we had around. Um, so paint cans are another excellent, so pretty much anything uh, we use kettlebells for, you can do swings, you can do overhead presses with it, you can do holds out in the front, squats, goblet squats, whatever, you can use it as a weight for reverse lunges. Um, again guys, anything that you would just use a kettlebell for, you could use that for. Um, so I'm going to let Rachel show you something else. Um, so you can or whatever she wants to over here. All right, let's go to the beach ball. So again, a little bit more of a low impact device that is not weighted, but we can challenge ourselves in different ways, like by doing a little squeezable duck walk, having to focus on balance and coordination, which is always something we need to work on constantly, you guys, in our everyday life. All right, you can even use that with squats, trying to hold that ball right there in place. Again, keeping those holds out with a more minimal approach with the lack of weight, you guys. All right, maybe even bringing it overhead if we're not so great at those overhead squats. This could be a good way to kind of advance that if you in the wanted, middle a little uh, bit. Yeah, and if you wanted to even go more advanced with that, you could just squeeze it a little bit and that'll give you a little bit of an isosymmetric hold um, to help with your core strength and all that kind of stuff. Oh yeah. Uh, another one I found around here, we do use these in the workout, but some of you guys might have something out in your shed uh, or in your garage or something, just sledgehammers. You'd be amazed what you can do with these. If you guys have worked with the maces in here, basically you can do any of those motions. Um, I mean, you've got a squat just right here. You can do those 360s we do. Uh, just make sure you don't hit yourself on that one. Uh, you can do bent over rows. Again, if you really want to challenge yourself with just like an uneven squat, you can even go overhead squats with those. It's all sorts of things. We've got um, even just Arnold presses, all sorts of stuff, guys. You can do with those. Okay. What else have we found? The bag. Yeah, I got bags, hands of soup, guys. You can use these to weight anything. Um, so you may have well, just a reusable bag. You can toss this, books. Books are another thing. Again, I found some of those. DVDs, whatever you want, you can use to weight up different things. Again, guys, this is just kind of like the paint can idea. You can use it for a 
kettlebell, you can use it for overhead presses, any kind of thing that you want to weight, you can do that. Same thing with our cleaner guys, you can just, again, overhead press it, whatever you want to do. I would just say that if you're using any kind of cleaning solution like this, just make sure that the, uh, the cap is screwed on nice and tight, and it's not going to break or it's not loose in any way, shape, or form. Don't want you um, uh, getting mad at us for like spilling something on anything on you, so <laughs> just be careful with that. Uh, and the same idea is true for like, if you guys have a laundry basket or a milk tote or anything, you can use it for weight, put as much or as little as you want, you can do deadlifts, again, you can kind of do squats, you can do farmer carries, uh, anything you really want to do with that, guys, uh, you could do that, so. I mean, load it up and walk down your street with it and you'll be sweating and like, I need to set this down. Like, yeah. you can get as crazy as you want to. I mean, your imagination is just all over the place with any of these types of equipment pieces of equipment. Your new pieces of equipment, you guys, we can make adaptions. It's great. So let's do one more with this hula hoop. We're going to just do some coordination stuff, you guys. We can just kind of like do step outs, out and in, out and in, and just some coordination things. A little bit of some taps, working around it. We can advance it by doing a moving push-up and just kind of guide your body around the hula hoop, around the hula hoop. It can be as challenging as you like for it to or even with planks, you guys. All right, you can step out, step out, step out, anything you want to, okay? Legs or upper body focus with those kind of coordination drills, all right? Yeah. You do a lot of abs with those too. Yes. Um, so oh, anything, yeah. if you guys have ever, we've used those little blue uh, little rings, you can do anything with this, you can get out in, anything you can imagine, guys, you can do it with this. Um, this is an excellent core workout. You'll be five minutes, uh, or five seconds in, and. Regret your it's crazy. <laughs> that is pretty tough. Um, another one, like this seems very easy. This is just a PVC pipe. We do have these around here, but if you don't have a PVC pipe, you can always use a broom or a mop handle, anything like that, guys. And you can do a lot of mobility with this, even if you're just kind of need to stretch or anything like that. Um, you can just use it, open up your chest. You can use it for balance. You have terrible balance for anything like that. Um, but also, like I'm going to be putting out a workout later that you can do at home. It's called the broomstick mile, and you're basically doing all of this stuff uh, with your broomstick. Uh, or any PVC or anything straight like that. Um, so this is uh, just, like I said, just stuff we found around the gym. I'm sure you have access to at least some of this stuff. Uh, just get creative, guys. Um, oh yeah, sorry, we forgot to go over one thing that we know that everybody has. Um, just a chair a right chair. there. And Rachel's is going to go over a couple but things. But not just any chair, a stable chair. Something that you might can actually put some weight on, not only just to sit in, you guys, but maybe even to do step-ups with. All right? Now, I wouldn't automatically say do a box jump on a chair, especially one that may not be so balanced, one and not be too risky with it, okay? But anything you want. You need to practice on your squat form? Great, have a seat, stand up, awesome. You're doing great. All right, you guys, push-ups, we can do those incline push-ups on these. We can do those decline where our hands are on the ground. All right, just even switch it up. Again, different ways to advance our movements. We can do taps, we can do Tricep dips, any way you want to advance it, get creative, get crazy, all right? Just some things like that. Heck, you can even pick it up, walk with it, and carry it places, all right? All right, play musical chairs with yourself. It's wonderful. So yeah guys, that's just a uh, gist of all the stuff that we found around the gym. So I'm sure you can get creative around your house. Um, so hopefully this is helpful for you guys, just give you some ideas of stuff you can do. Um, so good luck and have fun. <laughs>